This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases and their sources. The main greenhouse gases are methane, CH4, water, H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2, dye, nitrogen oxide, N2O, and the chlorofluorocarbons or the CFCs. The significance of a greenhouse gas on global warming depends on the relative abundance and the greenhouse factor of the gas. The greenhouse factor is the ability of a gas to absorb infrared radiation compared to carbon dioxide. Gases with a high greenhouse factor and high relative abundance are more significant for global warming. Next we look at the sources of the greenhouse gases. Starting with H2O which is water, the main source is evaporation of oceans and lakes. Next is CO2, carbon dioxide, the main source is combustion of fossil fuels. Next is CH4 which is methane, the main source is anaerobic decay of organic matter by livestock. Next is N2O, dye, nitrogen oxide, the main source is artificial fertilizers. And finally the CFCs, the chlorofluorocarbons, the main sources are refrigerants and solvents. Next we look at the greenhouse factor and the relative abundance. As you can see, going from water down to the CFCs, the greenhouse factor is increasing. So CFCs are a far more potent greenhouse gas than water if we just look at the greenhouse factor. But if we take into account the relative abundance, you can see that water has a far higher relative abundance than the CFCs. So when we are discussing the significance of the greenhouse gases on global warming, we can say that water and carbon dioxide are significant due to their relative abundance, whereas methane, N2O and the CFCs are significant because of their greenhouse factor. 